is a very momentous occasion for all of us, not only in the city of Hartford and Connecticut. Today, we have this hashtag MeToo movement, and we see how women are being respected and believed. But it was not always the case. In 1953, a young girl was sexually assaulted in my district. She was the one that identified the perpetrator, picked him out of a mugshot, identified him in a police lineup, went to court and confronted her attacker, and was the hero of this story. Her name, not her real name, because she still is using a pseudonym because she suffered so much, because she was re-victimized by society. So we call her Pidgey D'Alessio. And Pidgey was supposed to get a $3,000 reward that was offered for the capture of the perpetrator. And as it turned out, Chief, the justice at the time, the Supreme Court, Justice Baldwin said, doing your civic duty is sufficient reward. And she was denied the $3,000 reward. Today, 68 years later, almost seven decades after these incidents happened in the South End Department, we finally are able to pass a bill thanks to the governor, thanks to the legislative colleagues, especially Tony Walker, you know, who's the co-chair, the house chair of the, the approach committee, who was a champion on this. Debbie St. Germain, who's here with us in the community. The author who wrote a book that kept, kept this whole issue alive, Mary Ann Jerome Smith. existed once, very different partner. Today, I'm proud to have been the sponsor of this bill. I'm glad that my colleagues, I'm glad that we're able to have this ceremony, this bill signing ceremony, that we're able to give her the $3,000, even though back then $3,000 would have meant she would have had a college education and would have changed her life. Now she's an elderly person in her mid-80s, frail, not the greatest health, and really, this is more an apology from the state of Connecticut on behalf of all of us for what she went through. So I'm proud that her, her family is here. I'm proud that all the people that worked so hard to make this happen are here. Without further ado, I'm going to ask the, the author, who was the champion of keeping this life, just to say a couple of words. Marianne. Thank you. Let's hear it for Governor Lamont. 